So this is what we're making. A simple loop-in-loop -loop bracelet. Now, these links where they're looped over aren't soldered. Uh, you can solder them if you want to, but it's not necessary. Nice little lightweight bracelet. We're going to make a simple loop-in-loop -loop chain. We're going to make the links that look like this, and then we'll just loop this end around this end of the preceding link. Um, it's simple, there, but to make the link, it's a little bit of soldering, but it's not bad. And we'll need nine of these links. You'll need nine pieces of 1.2 or 1 wire, 70 millimeters long. You'll need nine pieces, 30 millimeters long. You need a five millimeter mandrel to push the wire around. So we're going to start just by pushing the wire right around the mandrel. And we want the ends to meet. So you just do it accordingly. And they don't have to be perfect, but they have to meet because we're going to solder that point. So you'll end up with a teardrop shape piece. Put your link on a flat soldering block. Flex the spot where they touch. One piece of hard solder right on that spot. Neutral flame. Warm it up until your flux dries out. And push the solder back where it belongs. The flux will go clear, the solder will flow. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be soldered. Quench it. Now I want this loop to be 20 millimeters long. So I'll put the loop on the 20 millimeter mark and grab it at the end of the ruler with my pliers. So now I have my spot and I'll just turn the parallel jaw pliers sideways and squeeze this loop until these ends are together. So at this point you're finished with this part. Now we're going to make the little bits that go on the side. Take the shorter piece, use the same 5 millimeter mandrel, push this tightly against your mandrel. I use my thumb to hold it in place and we want it so that the ends are close so we end up with a little loop like this. Now we're going to cut this in the middle with our saw. So just hold the piece on your bench peg Now we're going to file the ends of these pieces so that they fit perfectly against our loop. So just put the pieces against it, have a look, and file a little bit at a time 
because we want the angle to match. And if we have a good match, we'll have a good, pretty invisible solder join, both ends. Take your time, make sure they fit perfectly. If you have one side that doesn't quite have the curve, use your flat round pliers. Put a little more of a curve in it. Back on your piece. So that's pretty good. We'll solder this. Make sure you have a nice flat soldering block. Flux those four points, four pieces of solder where they touch. So once again, neutral flame. Warm the piece up till the flux dries out. Push all the bits where they're supposed to go with your solder pick. and do one joint at a time. And once that one flows, move to the next one. Yep. In inspect it. And if it's to your liking, quench it and pickle it. This is the first one. Make eight more just like this. Once you get all of your links made, check that they're all the same length. And you want to make sure that the ends are filed flat and square. Now, you can just link these the way they are, but I like to have a bit of a dome in mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dapping punch and a dapping block that's made out of wood. And I'll just put, put the piece in there and just push it. And it'll have a slight dome and a slight curve. Yep. Yeah. So once you get all of those done, they'll all look exactly the same. Now, I'm going to make the link so it sits this way, and I want my loop to go on the bottom. Now, I've marked my flat round pliers so that each one of these, when I grab it on the end, it will be exactly the same size as the other ones. So push the metal tight against your thumb and curl it until it almost touches. And you want to leave it slightly open so that you can get the ne next link on. Which is just that way. And <clears throat> then you can go in and finish the curl. And we just want that to touch so that it won't come undone. So do the whole bracelet. So you can see that after I hook this in, what I do is I put my pliers in there and then go ahead and close the loop. Yeah, so just so it doesn't come undone. Now when you get to the last one, so we got all of those loops going down, the last one we're going to turn into a hook. So we're going to make that loop go up and 
We'll put a little curve in it. So that this will come over and hook on there. So that's our bracelet.